Hello and welcome to February Beyond Forever Spores. For today's preview, Bulls versus Benton. And uh, it is going to be a very good clash because I think we've got Benton side who are playing with a lot of confidence having beaten Edinburgh last week. But a whole different kettle of fish uh, waits for them at Loftus where they have to travel down to Pretoria to take on a rampant Bulls side who maybe weren't at their best against the Sharks last weekend. Still got the results, still got the four points or five points they needed with the four try bonus points. So uh, playing good rugby. Uh, the Bulls. The question is, can they put it all together when it counts during the last few sort of playoff rounds and uh, potentially get themselves a first URC uh, trophy? Some big news in the Bulls camp is that Kana Moody is officially out of the quarterfinal and has undergone surgery for a finger injury. So a big ramification for both the Bulls, meaning that it sounds like you'll be able to be out for the playoffs, as well as potentially the spring box for that Island series that is coming up. Director of Rugby Jake White said as following... Uh, with regards to Kanan Moody, he said um, Kanan injured his hand against the Sharks last weekend and will be going for surgery today. It is one of those where they will only be able to see how serious it is once they open him up. It is his index finger, um, which is fractured, which influences his passing on top of his pinky a few weeks ago, which he was strapped before. I'm not sure if it will be one of those if he can strap in a couple of weeks and play, but he remains unavailable um, this week and the next. From the box point of view, I hope it is not that serious that he's ready for the Island Series. So, yeah, big blow for the Bulls. No Kane Moody this weekend. Um, I mean, it's a big blow for the box. I don't think he'd probably play against the Island, to be perfectly honest. Um, but there are sort of injuries starting to rack up with, obviously, Dan Vince already being ruled out. Now, potentially, Kane and Moody. So, not ideal at all. Um, before we look at the two teams, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. We'll start with the home side, which is the Bulls. This is how they do line up. In the front row, it is Cleo Stenekamp, Jan Kropla, and Vilko Lowe who uh, had a really good go at the Sharks front row last week and will be feeling very confident. Um, as well as second row, Ruan Mark and uh, Ruan Nokia, who captains the side, both players having very good seasons. And that tight five, I think, will be a very difficult threat for Benton to try and contain. Uh, no Mark of Stard, no Marcel Katsia, both currently out with injury. As a result, Nizam Carr, who's just signed a new contract with the Bulls, keeping him there until 2027. Uh, he will start in the number six jersey. He'll have Albert Glow next to him, as well as uh, Cameron Honakorn in that loose trio. And Rose Pierre, who's been terrific this season, will partner Johan Hurson. Kurt Lawrence uh, will be an important player, uh, devastating in space, uh, such a good player. And then the centers, we've got Harold Forster, David Creel. Then Sebastian the Clare comes in for the injured Kane and Moody. Villarou starts at full back. Off the bench, it'll be Akka van der Merwe, Sapir Matanzaman, Francois Klopper looking to make an impact. The young Reyna Ludwig as well. Johannes Kirsten comes into the side. Haven't seen him for a while. And then you've got Keegan Johannes, Chris Smith, and Sergio Peterson, um, who uh, cover the rest of the team there. So uh, interesting to see a couple of players who've been in on the fringe in the likes of Johannes Kirsten, Sergio Peterson, Keegan Johannes. Um, you know, even for example, as a um, uh, a a, a uh, um, Harold Forster, who not not played as much rugby throughout the season, sort of all of a sudden became very important players in uh, the, the the final sort of weeks in Zamkar as well. So it is going to be a bit of a test of the Bulls' depth in terms of, uh, as some of these injuries do come in, how good are they, the replacements? But, I mean, you look at some of the players there. Very few players here that are going to let a Bulls side down. If we then look at the Benton side, this is what it looks like in the front row. It is Thomas Gajdo starting at loose head. A very exciting player to watch. Then Batista, Benasconi, Simone Ferrari in that front row. So uh, I think it'll be... An interesting front row battle between the Bulls and the Benson. I, I do rate that that Benson front row. And they'll be backed up by the likes of Eduardo Iachizzi and Federico Raza, who yeah, is, is world class. Yeah. Um, the, 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 the loose trio will then be Alessandro Izakor, Michelle Lamaro, who caps the side, and Tua um, Halafihi. So a nice big physical loose trio as well. Michelle Lamaro, very much a heart in the sleeve type player and leader. And uh, they, they would love to go and upset Bulls. Um, they obviously beat Bulls back in the sort of the Rainbow Cup times. Um, over in Benton, so a bit of a score to settle there for the Bulls. Uh, Andy Wren will partner Thomas Albanoz in the halfback pairing. The back three will be Onusi Ritava, Tommaso Menoncello, and Reyna Smith. You then got a center pairing of Malachi, Fikito, Ignacio Brex, so quality players. I mean, we all know how good he is, how good he was in the Six Nations. Ignacio Brex is a quality operator. Um, I've been lucky enough to watch him in person, and he's just he's just a level above uh, the rest. Off the bench, it is Jean Marco Lucchesi, Marco Spagnolo, and GLC Zolacci coming that front row. Eli Snowman, Nicolo Canoni, Lorenzo Canoni in a 6 2 split, which then features just Alessandro Gabizzi and Jacob Umaga as the backline replacements. In terms of my predictions for uh, Bulls versus Benton, I think that Bulls will have far too much for Benton. I think playing at home, yes, it is a lot cooler. It's been very um, cold so far in Gauteng this week, but. Still at altitude, for example. Still the conditions that will suit the ball. It'll be dry. It'll be perfect conditions, really, for running rugby. I think uh, Benton will try to play quite a high um, 
sort of octane type of game. But I think this Bulls side, they love ball in hand. They've got a big pack. They'll try and bully Ben's up front. Um, and I think that come the 18 minutes, I reckon we'll probably see Bulls by about 10, even 10 to 15 if they really get things going. Um, I think that, you know, players to watch out for Curly Orange, I expect to see on the scoreboard. Uh, very keen to see how Cameron Hanukkah goes. And big games for um, sort of like the halfback pairing in terms of the Brosia Pierre and Johan Hus and making sure that their presence is known and they really control those games. Let me know what your score predictions are down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.